Hello and welcome back. I've been making um, pier cappings and stone wall cappings this week to put on top of the stone walls. I made all the, the tops for the brick piers here for all the way along this section here and I've also made some cappings out of two millimeter card to put on top of the piers on the factory walls. Uh, I've also done the slate tile effect on the roof section which is all there waiting to go on and a barge has eventually turned up um, that will give me an idea as to how deep to make the realistic water uh, the canal's a bit too deep at the minute the canal boats are going to be waterline models sat on top of the realistic water so hopefully um, when we eventually get around to putting the water in there um, that, that'll that look a bit better and we find another couple of barges I found it very difficult to find decent barges but uh, we've got one to start with anyway so um, that's a white metal one that somebody else made and I bought that from Hebay um, right I'll get on and put all this lot together and um, I'll come back shortly and you can see what it looked like right gold roofing on there now that looks a lot better um, I don't know if I mentioned in my last video I was going to put some stone stringing courses on the front of this factory so I've done all that as well got that sorted got the pier caps on top of the brick piers uh, that's just some two millimeter uh, card painted grey I've also finished the pier caps and all the stone wall capping on this section by where the turntable is going to go um, the cappings on the walls I use some one and a half millimeter card and just wrap the stone paper around it and the cappings on the piers are three layers of two millimeter card uh, each layer of card slightly smaller than the one below it and that gives you a bit of a pyramid effect and I've just weathered them a bit and they look a bit better I've also painted the canal I've done that with uh, acrylic um, olive green it's nice and dark and it makes that look deep and murky when you put your water in it and that's what I'm going to do next I've bought a product called deep pour murky water that's this thing here um, I looked at a video on YouTube uh, by Woodland Scenics they show you how to do this stuff so we're going to have a go with that and see what that's like but like anything else that's got a um, chemical reaction involved with it read the instructions uh, before you start messing about with it but there's a good explanatory video on YouTube so I'll do that and then I'll come back to you when that's all set and hardened up in the bottom of the cow. I've now done the water pour with the um, cloudy water, the murky water stuff. So I'm just going to uncover that now. I left it covered up for a couple of days to keep the dust off it while um, the uh, compound was setting. So we'll have a look and see what's happened. Oh, cool. Yeah, that looks really good. Quite pleased with that. Um, nice and murky, uh, but a bit of a reflection of the factory in there as well. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take a photograph from the um, canal tunnel end, this end here, looking up there, and, and we'll see how that looks. But I'm quite pleased with that. So... Um, yeah, I think I might recommend that product as being something quite good. Now that the canal is finished, I'm going to concentrate on um, the factory buildings a bit more. I want to do some drain pipe hoppers and drain pipes on there, so that's something else I've got to do. 
I've also got to think about what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to put some more buildings here. I don't know whether to do some more really old buildings or whether to do a modern section of stuff here with some shops and cars and stuff on there. Uh, and uh, this little ro roadway ramp up here. The other problem I've got is above the layout, excuse my squeaky tripod, I've got an area here about 2.8 meters long. I've ordered some display cabinets to fit across here to put all my spare models in. Unfortunately, due to lockdown, they've been delayed, so I'm not going to get them till the end of April. Um, this is one of the reasons why I haven't fitted the track yet on the boards because I don't have to climb over everything to fit the display cabinets. Um, at the minute everything is removable so I can remove all this stuff um, to fit the display cabinets. So that's holding up one or two things but I expect we'll get there in the end. So that's all for now uh, for this February update and I'll put another one up in March. Any suggestions or any questions just ask and I'll be sure to reply. Bye for now.